Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sunshine. Morning. Hey, it's Marie Forleo, and you are watching Marie TV, the place to be to create a business and life you love. And I think that's what you want because you're here and it's Q&A Tuesday. And today's question comes from Elza Mika and she writes, Dear Marie, in the past year I've started to make money with my art, which makes me very proud and happy. Though every time I make a sale, I feel guilty. If I do well at market, I drive home at the end of the day with guilt pressing on my heart. And I sometimes feel the urge to return to buyers and give them their money back. I think this comes from a sense that deep down, my work isn't good enough and it doesn't deserve to be sold. Rationally, I know it's good enough, but you can't change your emotions with rational thought. So my question is, do you have any tips on how to deal with seller's guilt? Thanks for your consideration. Lots of love, Elza Mika. Elza Mika, my dear, it is clear that you are possessed by some money guilt goblins. These little suckers are worse than bed bugs. But unlike bed bugs, you don't need a dog named Roscoe, harsh chemicals, or thousands of dollars to get rid of them. Look, you cannot change what you're not aware of. So let's shine a light on three of these nasty little buggers and get them out of here. Hey, a napping lady. Money guilt goblin number one, senior either or also goes by the name, I win, you lose. Or in economic speak, this guy makes you believe in a zero-sum world. So what does that mean? It means that you believe there's a limited supply of money, that if you get more, then somebody else is gonna get less. You win and somebody else loses. Yeah, how's it feel to put someone in the poorhouse? How's it feel to be the one percent? Enjoy that money now that someone else doesn't have it. <laughs> Here's a little reality check to kick this goblin right in the butt. We do not live in a zero sum world. And if you want the facts to back this up, you should check out a book called The End of Poverty by Jeffrey Sachs. Now, yes, we still do have a lot of work to do to solve economic inequality, but you receiving money for your art does not take away wealth from someone else. It only adds to the total global money flow. And that's called positive sum, which is the best kind of sum, unless you count dim sum. Guilt goblin number two is Mrs. Self Doubtfire. Now this gang rears her ugly head anytime we put anything creative out into the world. Here's what she says. She says, basically, you're not good enough. You're a fraud and you've really pulled a fast one on people. Oh, what lovely art. I think I'll put it on my Pinterest board called Things That Suck. Look, what you create is intrinsically valuable and worthy because you are intrinsically valuable and worthy. Now, if you're still not buying this, you gotta make sure you check out our other Marie TV episode, which was made just for artists. And that leads me to our third and final Money Guilt Goblin. Guilt Goblin number three, Mr. Buyers Be Suckers. Now, this little turd makes you believe that your buyers are suckers, that anyone who gives you money for your art is a chump. Yeah, you suckers fell for the crappy art. Now let's sell them some swampland, a bridge, and some stock at myspace.com. Your customers are not dummies, so give them some credit that they know good art when they see it. And by accepting their money, you're actually validating their taste and their point of view, and you're giving them a chance to experience more joy and more beauty in their life through your art. Also, remember what a great feeling it is to spend money on something you love. How much joy is there in being able to say, you know what, that was worth every penny. And finally, even if you don't believe that your art is that good or worth that much money, somebody else paying for it does. So you need to honor and respect that. So let's land this plane. Shining the light on money guilt goblins is just step one in the process. Step two is you actually have to replace those beliefs with new, better ones. So from this moment forward, any time that you get paid for your art, I want you to repeat this mantra, and yes, it's a tweetable. Getting money means giving joy. Realize that every single time you receive money for your work, you're giving joy to the person who's receiving it. That was my A to your Q, Elzamika. I hope it helps. And now I would love to hear from you. Do you ever feel guilty about making money? If so, what did you do to get rid of your own guilt goblins? And if you're still in that space, I would love to hear which one of these three guilt goblins do you really need to kick in the goblin hole?
Kick in the goblin hole? Screw you, lady. I'll give you a business and a life you hate. Your mother sucks pops in hell. What? I said pops. Like, you know, ice pops. Arr! As always, the best discussions happen after the episode, all the way over in the beautiful fairy tale land of MarieForleo.com. So go there and leave a comment now. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe and share it with all of your friends, especially this one. It's really important. And if you want even more great resources to create a business and life that you love, plus some personal insights from me that I only get to talk about in email, come on over to MarieForleo.com and sign up for email updates. Stay on your game and keep going for your dreams because the world needs that special gift that only you have. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Marie TV. Hey, shut up over there, cocoa butter. Is that what green juice does? It's not a good morning without a juice. You right? can't have Marie TV without Dr. Zhivago. Judge <laughs> Judy. <laughs>